Today we're talking about homework, and although I think I convey a lot of material during lecture, it is still very important for students to have the opportunity to practice what I've just taught, and so that's the purpose of homework. Now, when I'm creating homework, I have several goals, and there's two primary ones. The first one is to create that core competency. I need them to understand the ins and outs of the primary concepts of the class. The second one is I want to try and help them improve their advanced thinking to help them become a little more creative about the material, to understand that there's a graduate level or there's a research level to this, and that if they want to, they can explore and develop some new ideas in the field. Besides that, you also have some other general goals that should happen. One is to build a, the idea of work ethic, that if they work hard at something, that they will have more success and that they should carry that knowledge throughout their life. Another one that I like is just the ability to learn to do some teamwork, some informal leadership and collaboration, getting people together to study, all those things like that help to build more successful people. And a last one is to help them learn to help solve problems and find resources on their own. And so for these reasons, I let them collaborate with anybody and I will let them search out any solution that they want in any fashion. Now, how does this translate into practice? I begin creating my homeworks by looking at the class in its entirety and not just each individual assignment. Now, as I do that, I say any student who gets a good grade or a reasonable grade in this class needs to have A, B, and C, and they need to have these skills down and be able to use these skills on a consistent basis. And that helps sets up my core competency. Then I try and decide how much practice they need to develop this core competency, and then I litter that throughout the entire homeworks to make sure that they are able to build and create that core competency. As I'm building these homeworks, since I'm looking at it from an entire standpoint, I try and not make it extremely difficult. For instance, if there's a software I'm going to introduce on the homework before, I will ask a straightforward and simple question related to that that is literally just getting on getting the software to run on your computer and solving a simple problem. Nothing fancy. And then that whole confusion and frustration is gone by the time I actually ask them to do something useful and interesting in that software. And so I've put all the frustration into a very simple assignment, and now the frustration comes from the complexity of the assignment as they try and deal with that. Um, as I'm doing this, I want to value the student's time. There's no sense in giving two of the exact same problems, or three, or four, Students can always find another problem in the textbook. And so my goal here is to provide basically one problem that if they can do it, they can just move on. Now, if they need extra help, they can always seek that out. But I'm not trying to invest and show that they can do the same steps 18 different times. The goal here is to have a problem that represents what is important and that they can demonstrate stuff and avoid the general busy work. At the same time, I also want to give some deeper understanding, either theoretical questions, um, challenging questions, things like that, that students can think about. They may not understand what the question is. Um, they can ask questions in class. We can discuss things in class, things like that. And the idea is to help people understand that the bigger aspect of the class and all the other things that they can do beyond just the core competencies of the class. Now, I find time is very important. It helps me. It helps the students. If I give them a week to two weeks, that's less grading for me. I can focus on the bigger aspects during that two weeks, and I can help highlight what the best benefits and the core competencies of the class are. And so I'll give them plenty of time, and it's also less grading on my part. Um, in the same fashion, this gives students a chance to come in and ask a few questions in class, and I'll actually give help in class. I'm like, oh, have you tried this? Have you tried this? And I'll use my lecture-based tutoring to have other students provide feedback and things like that. And I'll give them hints and clues because I want them to be successful in this. Um, in general, I demand confidence and I try and inspire excellence. Um, I do need them to understand the core competencies. Um, I will always allow any help from any collaboration from anybody because I have no desire to have, accuse anyone of cheating on something as simple as a homework problem. Um, anyway, I hope that you're able to create useful homeworks that help build the competencies and actually inspire students to continue to excellent learning. Anyway, thank you for tuning in and please like my channel.